Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I built the nesting box off the side of my chicken coop. Uh, it does open up so that you can pick out the eggs from the outside as you know most people's intention is when they build one of these. Uh, the whole reason why I didn't build um, or do a whole chicken coop build is because number one, I think it's pretty simple. I think most people have a pretty good idea of what they want or how they're going to build. It's also going to be very uh, dependent on how many chickens you have, how much money you have to spend, how much space you have, all those kinds of things. So um, they're not really difficult to build, but I did have a question on how to build a nesting box when I was in the middle of building. I wasn't really sure, and I felt like I didn't find a lot of really good information. I did find one website that kind of gave me the idea of how to put it together. Um, and I, I went based off of that, but don't expect exact dimensions in this video other than just some general guideline dimensions that I'm going to give you. So to start off with, I used 2x3s instead of 2x4s. So There's a little bit of cost savings there um, going with the 2x3 and also a little bit of weight savings as well. So now the size of the box this should be is from everything I could find on the internet, a 12x12x12. 12 by 12 by 12. That should give them plenty of space to lay these eggs. And that's not based on my experience. Like I said, I did some research uh, before I put this thing together. So the framing that I'm putting together right now is what I would call the back wall of the nesting box. It's the furthest away from the rest of the coop. This has a 12 inch uh, tall spacing in it. And the front side that I'm gonna show here in a little bit after I, I get finished uh, putting this framing together is uh, 18 inches. So I went from 18 inches to 12 inches to give me that nice uh, fall so that when it rains and falls off the roof, uh, the metal roofing that I put on top of the nesting box, uh, it will make sure that it drains away. So like I said, these nesting boxes are designed to be 12 by 12 by 12. So essentially what I did was I just took the amount of space that I had on the side of that wall of the chicken coop and I divided it, uh, took the inches and I divided it by 12 to figure out how many nesting boxes I could have inside of uh, that area and it came up with five. I've got five nesting boxes for my uh, eight chickens so some of them will be sharing and uh, that's fine. Chickens sh share nesting boxes all the time. So as far as the framing itself goes I just drilled pilot holes to keep the wood from splitting and then ran my screws in. I'm not a framer. I've never been a framer so I don't know you know what I might be doing wrong or right but I've framed up a few things and I've never had any problems so um, I know a lot of uh, framers prefer to use nails. I've got a plethora of screws from old projects I removed um, and buildings I tore down that were here at the house we purchased uh, by the previous owner. So I've got a huge collection of them that I'm using up. I'm just taking my pencil using the back wall I already put together to mark out where all my studs are supposed to be on the front wall. I'm not sure what happened to the camera, but we're uh, jumping to after the front part, the wall side of the framing, the 18 inch openings are uh, already attached to the rest of the coop. The thing that I would have done different here is I would have made the opening in the framing of the coop itself the same width or the same height, I guess I should say, as the framing for the nesting boxes. So that board that kind of goes across the nesting box, those are 12 inch openings and it's fine. There's no problems with it. I just think it would have looked a little bit better if I had made the, the opening in the framing of the coop itself a full 18 inches to match the nesting box. I just wasn't really sure exactly how I was going to do it when I started putting it together. So I suppose that's why it looks the way it looks. So what I'm doing here is taking scraps of this T111 siding and I'm cutting it to fit 21 inches at the top with a little flat piece where I'm going to mount the lid for the nesting box. These are going on the sides and then it's going to go down to 15 inches at the bottom. So like I said, 12 inch opening. Uh, 18 inch opening at the front, 12 inch at the back, but with the inch and a half thick two by threes, it of course adds, you know, the being two of them adds three inches, so it's 21 by 15. And so that's when I'm cutting, like I said, with a little flat part to go right on the top so the hinges have a place to mount to. So when putting the siding on the wall side framing, you don't need to frame anything out. You can just simply screw that siding right into the side of the, uh, like I said, the wall side framing. And you can do that on both sides and then you're just going to be able to very simply attach 
the uh, back wall like you'll see here in just a second. I used a clamp to hold up the other side while I screwed in one side and it just attached nice and easily. It is a little bit wobbly now, but as soon as you put a floor in there, which I believe I do off camera, uh, it's, it sturdies it right up. It doesn't wiggle around or anything. It's, it's nice and sturdy. And once you get it to this point where you have the siding and the framing there, you just need to cut out a floor uh, using a piece of material of your choosing. I used a scrap piece of OSB and I just made it wide enough so I could screw it up into the bottom plate of both of those uh, nesting box walls that I made. And like I said, it sturdied it up really nice. And the last thing to do is finish off the siding on the back wall and create a lid. Mount it with the hinges and put on uh, some sort of roofing material. Um, of course, the thought I'm having now as I'm watching this, this works with the T111 siding. Probably could work with some kind of standard, some other kind of standard siding other than like a vinyl siding or something. But most people, I think, use this stuff for this, these kinds of builds. Uh, you know, if you're using pallet wood, you can adapt it easily to the pallet wood. But um, onto the lid, I. Like I said, I, I just put on uh, basically another piece of scrap OSB that I have. I have a lot of scrap OSB. So I just put two pieces of 2x4 on the bottom side of it to help sturdy it up. And I just attached two hinges to the uh, top part of the wall side, the 18 inch opening framing. Hopefully you guys are following me. And I used some uh, galvanized roofing that I used for the roof. I bought an extra piece so I could roof off this nesting box. Some people will just use the siding and leave it the siding. But, you know, that's probably not a bad option, except I do think that you're gonna uh, wind up getting it, uh, finding it weathered a lot quicker than if you put an actual roof on there. Um, potentially you know rotting out and ruining the rest of your coop so that's why I put the, this roof on there and why I also extended the roof off my chicken coop uh, quite a ways so yeah I just used some turbo shears inside of my drill it's a really nice uh, little adapter that I got from back in my uh, HVAC installation days uh, ran a lot of duct work and things and handy tool to keep around I use it for this metal roofing stuff all the time anyway I cut out enough roofing to cover up the whole top lid and then installed it. And so the last thing I did was measured out the center of this nesting box lid and uh, marked off my points where I'm gonna draw my screws, grabbed this little handle that I have uh, laying around in my hardware bins and mounted it in there as a little grab handle to, to pick up the lid and pull out the eggs. The only thing that I would change is moving that handle further down. I just wanted to make sure I got it into those two by fours, but it's a little bit awkward. I'm gonna move it down a little ways and maybe even put in another little piece of wood there to give it something to, to screw into. But yeah, hopefully through all this rambling and uh, all the numbers and everything I was throwing at you, you came out with some kind of idea of how to build your own nesting box on the side of your chicken coop. Thanks everybody for watching. If you can make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Also, let me know in the comments below what you would do different. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video.